worried about artificial sweeteners, but do you think you're doing the right thing by using them to cut out your calories and your sugar, right? You don't all think that's the case, but artificial sweeteners may now be linked to a new host of health problems. And Renee is here because you wrote me a letter about a health problem that you've been having. I did. And just yes. to introduce the concept in general, could you explain what the letter said? The letter pretty much said that um, I find myself going to the bathroom all throughout the day. I'm constantly going in, and it's very frustrating, very annoying. <laughs> when did it first start? Um, probably about a year ago. And it lasted I, for a year. It was about a year, yeah, about a year. And it was um, probably when I, I noticed it more when I switched from regular, drinking regular sodas, because mm -hmm. I was addicted to them, and then I switched to diet. Got it. The artificial sweetener. So, and now I'm addicted to those. And how Sorry. often do you have one of those artificial sweetener drinks? Um, probably, well, I have it in my coffee, two okay. cups in the morning, and then I'll probably have at least three sodas throughout the day, along with my candy and my sugarless gum and all that stuff. So a fair amount, but I got to say, I think yeah. a lot of folks here right now, certainly at home, who are traditionally using that. Right. I, I would imagine. I know a lot of people that do. Right. So let me walk you through what I think is going on. Okay. Artificial sweeteners, and we talked about the, the bowel issues, we talked about the metabolic syndrome, but there's an area that we have not explored yet, which is a really big one. And that's the idea that you might be wearing out your bladder with your artificial sweeteners. Okay, sounds interesting. Yes, yes. Can I show you what I mean? <laughs> sure, definitely. Come around back, you can help me with the demonstration. Okay. So you think about your bladder as a muscle that has to contract. So here's your muscle, and you can be the contractor, okay? Okay. So squeeze those muscles there. Now normally as you urinate, right, uh, you first have to build up enough urine in the bladder to push it out. As you keep squeezing there, gently, now as you fill up and get above the line of fullness, the body's going to want it to contract faster. Go back and forth, faster, faster. And as you do that, you'll begin to urinate. Go faster, 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 and you'll soon begin to empty out the, bla the bladder and get rid of all that urine. That's the normal. Okay. Okay? Now you can stop. Okay. Let me show you what happens in you, I bet. Come on over here. Okay. This was a normal bladder with this muscle. This is your bladder. My bladder, right? Okay. right? This is a bladder. Someone who's not taking a lot of artificial sweeteners. And in this case, you notice it's not full. The bladder's not really ready to go to the bathroom. But the muscle is hyperactive because okay. it's being stimulated by the artificial sweetener, which is a chemical in your body. Okay. So go ahead and put a little bit of urine in there. As soon as you put a tiny bit of stuff in there, the body can't really hold it anymore. You can stop. That's all I need. And go ahead and push this down. And I'll go faster and faster, and you'll urinate. Even though you don't have that much wow. in there. Right. Right? And so, yeah. even though I stop at the bottom, it doesn't take much urine to fill you back up again. So go again. Here you are, five, I'm ten minutes again. later, a little bit more of whatever drink you're, you're having, and okay. stop it, and off we go again. And you start to spasm again and urinate it out. Right. It makes sense. Imagine doing calisthenics all the time and pushing as hard as you can. That powerful muscle that represents the bladder does what it's supposed to do when you have a lot of urine in here. It's not supposed to pump all the time. Okay. Right? The shocking part of this is. One packet, our artificial sweetener, can cause that. can cause wow. you to pee more than you're supposed to. Wow, one packet. Think about that. Wow. I think that has a major impact on your overall bladder health. Right. And who wants to have that? No, not me. <laughs> so let me ask you, how many times a day are you urinating? Ugh. Um, too many. Maybe about Two. 18. 18? Yeah. I told you, I'm always running in there. So you kept a log for us. I did, yes. So I took a look I at did. that log. You did? Yes, and I actually counted up the number of times you, you went mm -hmm. uh, to the bathroom to urinate. Right. Yeah. It was 20. Oh, wow. Wow. Any idea did what it, the normal is? Um, what were you no. last year before you started drinking the soft drinks? Not that many, that's for sure. Yeah. Not that many. Well, the most that I would tolerate for mm -hmm. an average person is about eight. Wow. But I'm thinking everybody out there was urinating more than eight times. You ought to put that in the back of your mind as one reason why you yeah. haven't to go to the bathroom I all the time. I definitely will now. Yeah. So with that all said, you know, let's get back to the nitty gritty. I mean, what works to, to get you off that much artificial sweetener? So what have you tried in your life? I tried throwing water in there instead of the diet soda. Mm -hmm. I'll drink a water, but I feel the need for that sweet in my mouth, yeah. just the sweet taste. So then I go back to the diet soda or the gum or, you know. You want to learn about some alternatives that don't involve putting water in there? Definitely. All right. Are you all interested that. in that topic? Yeah. All right. All right. Well, you know what? I'm going to have everyone fix this at home because we're going to, to do this really simply. When I come back, I'm going to show you some of the best ways to cut back on artificial sweeteners for good. Stay tuned. I'm back talking about artificial sweeteners, and here's the question I know you're all asking right now. Can I have any at all? Well, the, if the answer is yes, which I think it is actually, then how much can I have? This, I know it can be hard, really hard to cut them out. You're busy, you're going 100 miles an hour, you're trying to do the right thing and avoid regular sugar by taking this. So to help us figure this out, I brought in registered dietitian Ashley Koff 
to help everyone get started. Renee is also going to join us. We talked this through with you as well. So Ashley's got three easy ways of cutting back on artificial sweeteners. So if you could walk us through these. Yeah, and the key, the first thing to keep in mind, it's got to be easy. We've got to be able to remember this. And Renee, you are going to have the easiest time because there's so. three R's. So your oh, name okay, starts great, with R. Let's see going on here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to reduce. So we want to reduce okay. our quantity. Mm -hmm. We want to replace. So we want to move from artificial to natural. And the third mm -hmm. one is to renew our taste buds. So okay. we'll talk a little bit about okay. that. Sounds great. Three R's. Interested in doing this, Renee? Yes, definitely. All I right. can't wait. Good. I mean, actually, tips are very valid, but they're also practical for folks who are going, uh, as I mentioned, 100 miles an hour. All right, so let's talk about reducing. Okay. What, what works for that? All right, so I want you to think about this. If you are having any artificial sweeteners in the day, mm -hmm. I want you to get down to one. To one. All right? Now, okay. you, can't, you don't have to pick if you are having diet soda mm -hmm. and you're having your coffee and you're putting the packets in there. I'm going okay. to break in and be a little bit easier on you and say you can have one diet soda okay. and you can have one packet. Okay. Now, what happens if you're having five cups of coffee? One packet. There you go. What happens <laughs> okay. if you're having one cup of coffee? One packet? Right. So okay. you can decide. You can split it up or okay. you can have it all at one time. But let's really try to get down to the one. Okay. Okay? Sounds good. Think it's doable? Um, I'm really going to try. All right. The next way to cut back on, on the artificial sweeteners is to replace them with something that we think is a natural and suitable alternative. So you've got a pretty good idea here, Ashley. Yeah, so the replace part is really going from, we're still in the, the calorie-free area. So we're going from the artificial calorie-free to the more natural space. Okay. So when you're saying you still have that sweet, that craving for that higher sweet. So we have stevia here. Have you okay. ever had stevia? I haven't, but I always wanted to try it. Oh, well, great. So this is perfect. Okay, so stevia is actually, and you see it on the, on the package, it is a plant leaf. Okay. So that exists in nature. And the stevia plant actually has something that is 30, 40, 50 times sweeter than sugar in nature. So you still oh, okay. are getting that than sugar. So you're still getting that extra bump of sweet. Mm -hmm. It's in a packet form, in a dropper form. You know, you can use it in your tea. You can cook with it. You have all different options. So that is going to give us an option. Okay, okay? Great, great. So I guess we'll go ahead and have you taste this. You know, I, I grow stevia in our backyard now. Thank you. You are growing. Yes. Yeah. And you, 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 you pick it and you hang it up uh, and let it dry. And yeah. it actually tastes pretty good. And you actually have the whole leaf, right? Have the whole leaf. Yeah. How, how's it taste for you? It's good. It's really good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It doesn't, yeah. doesn't taste good in a pure this. form. The leaf itself doesn't taste good, but when you mix it, it does. How do you know if you're getting a pure version of stevia? It's a really great question. So one of the issues is this became very popular because it is calorie-free, right? Okay. So what we're looking for, and people want the more natural option. Yes. The issue is, is there are a lot of products that, on the, that are on the market that unfortunately are taking either the leaf or parts of the leaf and blending it with a whole bunch of the additives that you were talking about that actually don't do good things in the body or that okay. we don't know what they do. They're just not natural, right? right? right. So what you want to do is very simply, when you look at the label, so if mm -hmm. you're buying the box or if you're buying the droppers, you look at the label, you want to look for the word stevia there. Okay. Okay. So it may say stevia extract or it may just say stevia or it may say organic stevia, but you want to make sure this, the word stevia is there. Okay. It, and then you don't want to see a whole laundry list of other things right, on there. Right. If there are four or five, six other ingredients, I would mm -hmm. go ahead and pass. Okay. Now, one of the challenges with that, though, is that you may find this in, you may see a packet that says stevia, like say at your, now at your coffee shop mm -hmm. or it's on the table at a, at a restaurant, and you don't know, is this stevia or is this one of those blocks? Right. You know, it's so easy. Why not just put a couple of those packets in your purse and then you know you have it with you. you exactly. know? So if you find yourself in the airport or you find yourself, you know, running throughout the day and you're saying, I know I want to have my one packet, right. when, where, am I, where am I going to get it? And then you pull it out of your purse. Now, one of the things I want to keep in mind with this is because it is, again, still several times sweeter than mm -hmm. sugar in nature, we want to pay attention to portion size. Okay. okay. So what we want to do is just how I was saying, the one diet soda, right. the one packet, mm -hmm. try with the stevia to keep yourself in the range of three to four packets in the day. Okay. okay. This isn't, okay. you know, carte blanche to say, I'm going to start putting stevia in every single, right, right. you know, thing or that mm -hmm. I'm eating. Otherwise, yeah. you're getting way too much sweet on your taste buds. Okay. Yeah. Great. You Makes ready sense. for a quiz? I am. All right. Let's put up some food labels here. Take a look at these two food labels. These are ingredient lists. Can you all see that? You notice one of them says stevia on it, and the other one doesn't. Exactly. <laughs> it's got a lot of other stuff there as well. You want it to say stevia. Can you see? You're okay with that, Renee? Mm, yes. 
All right. So you know what to look for on that part, right? Yeah. Some people pronounce it stevia. That's totally right, fine. Right. Stevia, stevia. Right. The pronunciation isn't the issue. You want to see the, that right. right. Yes. And stevia does it matter what form you take the packet, the liquid? No, actually, I. what's great about having these different forms is that for a while we only used to get it in the packet. And if anybody's ever tried a packet, and whether it's the artificial mm -hmm. ones or the natural, to put that in, say, like a cold beverage, like your okay. iced tea, you just see these clumps of floating stuff on there. So now that we have the droppers, you can put it the dropper, you know, and go ahead and put it um, into a cold beverage and it'll be fine. Okay. Also, when you're cooking, sometimes you want something that has more of the liquid consistency. The only thing to be careful about is, again, because it is sweeter mm -hmm. than sugar, if you're replacing it in a recipe, if you're taking, you know, the okay. sugar, then go ahead and look online and just see what your replacement should be. And the last okay. option, of course, is to renew your taste buds. If you want to get rid of artificial sweeteners, you have to resuscitate the taste buds, which have been knocked down from taking products that are several hundred times sweeter than sugar. Mm -hmm. And Ashley, explain to everybody what your game plan is here. Yeah, so the idea of Renew is exactly as Dr. Oz was saying, and really also for the results that we were talking about earlier in the segments, where we want to get the body back to feeling great. We want right. good energy. You know, you and I were talking about, hey, could this have results mm -hmm. in terms of your waistline? Right. Absolutely, right? You were like, oh, mom, I, so. I don't see I don't I, so. you're, you're doing great. But yeah, you will see those changes mm -hmm. because when you give the body what it recognizes mm -hmm. best, what exists in right. nature. So we're talking about Mother Nature sweeteners. So what I have okay. is that, you know, a lot of times people will say to me, um, gosh, you know, they tell me that uh, if I'm craving something sweet to have an apple, and I'll have people mm -hmm. say, oh, that apple doesn't mm -hmm. even taste sweet, right? Does right, an apple, right. sometimes we've lost yeah, that. Definitely. So what we need to do is we need to get back to the space where an apple tastes sweet or where berries taste sweet, or where we're looking at, you know, a little bit of Mother Nature sweeteners, mm -hmm. our saps, our nectars, so, you know, maple syrup, um, honey, all of these. And over here what we have is we have raw buckwheat honey. Have you ever tried that? No, I never have. Okay. This is a really exciting one. Um, so I'll give you this. Oh, thank you. And that's a portion size. No, I'm totally kidding you. Um, <laughs> we say about a tablespoon a day, but, you know, again, think about maybe breaking it up throughout the day because since this is really dark and completely not refined, like this is exactly how you would get, if you were okay. opening up that hive, it is going to be very, we'll say, pungent or a very strong taste. Okay. You know, that dark, okay. um, go ahead and taste it, yeah. I think it is a very rich taste. You see how the dark the color is? I don't know if you can get a shot of that. But it, uh, it is, uh, and it's not a portion size, yeah. but you could easily take this down. All right, so one of the other reasons that I really love this, and we try to get everybody over to the Renew place, is one of the reasons that people tell me that they are having those diet sodas or they're having mm -hmm. the coffee with the artificial sweetener all through the day is because they need energy. Right. They're looking for energy. I do need energy. Yeah. yeah. I find myself about halfway through the day just ready to take a nap. Yeah. Yeah. And that's because we're getting stimulants, mm -hmm. but we're getting them with no calories. Remember, your calories are your mm -hmm. energy. So what you're getting when you have a serving of this is you're getting actually what your body knows what to do with, those calories calories so right. it's going to give you that get-go energy it's so really you good. could certainly cook with this you know you will too you could bake with it mm -hmm. um you could certainly do you know drizzle it over an apple or you know mm -hmm. put it on um with some, some oatmeal. Uh, oatmeal or yeah. something like that and do it that way but good. So this is raw buckwheat honey now one of the other things that we want to talk about is this is actually that entire jar is about five dollars wow. it'll probably last you if we look at the serving sizes i don't know i would say i mean a year two mm -hmm. years it really depends on how much baking and things like that right. you're doing um but it's going to stick around for a while and you can get it at almost every single store that's out there all the super stores have it so okay. even though it's something that you know we would it sounds like raw buckwheat honey oh mm -hmm. i've got to go like you know out yeah. and, and pick it myself or right. forage for it it's, it's available everywhere oh, so great. Got, that's it's good great to know. Well, I will... enjoy it good luck with your bladder oh, yeah. report you. back <laughs> to I will. Uh, I will. I will. Is, thank you so much not just yeah. concerned <laughs> about artificial sweeteners in your diet there's another food substitute that you're using in an effort to get healthy that may be dangerous to your body up next could butter substitutes cause Alzheimer's, what you really need to know.